think life becomes a lot easier when you have that certain quality of confidence, not a self-righteous kind of confidence, but um, one that is a survival kind of confidence when you believe in yourself that in any situation that presents itself in your life you can handle it with your own personal resources on the spot and um, that's what's most exciting probably about living being a human being is that we're built to survive um, up to a certain point and in the basic things that we confront in our daily lives uh, we can typically trust ourselves intuitively to handle situations um, which may be confusing at first um, grief, loss, crisis, um, adventure the more you encounter these situations with only your own resources without a plan in place the more you might find that you may not need a plan in place exactly that's not to say there's not a use in planning planning is definitely something worth doing in certain situations um, but the idea of not of going through life um, as much as possible without an outline, without a plan, or at least allowing yourself to experience times, situations that aren't outlined is, I think, a very, very important thing. And that's my personal opinion. Um, what I mean by that is for one, it doesn't matter how much you plan. You're always going to end up in a situation for which you have no plan. But if you typically are planning all the time, planning things out in your life, which is a fine quality, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to criticize those who plan. And in fact, there are many um, who might tell me that I could have used a lot more planning in my life actually but the people who are planning all the time and coming into situations that are uncomfortably um, immediate a crisis situation it could be as simple as a car breaks down in the middle of a snowstorm or somebody who's psychotic comes up to you on the street and confronts you and your family or it could be an interview where you're being blasted questions and you're supposed to have answers for um, all these situations you may be better equipped to handle if you live your life in the moment and this is where improvisation and exercises like that could be most useful to you. You could go and um, enroll in a class, perhaps an improv, or if you're like me, um, you could write without an outline, you could go into situations without a plan and get more confident, you build more confidence and more trust in yourself and your own personal intuition as you go through life with a little bit less of a plan or you go out for a walk and just get lost and see what comes up and then when that uncomfortable situation presents itself uh, the worst that could happen is that you have to run away um, and then you regroup and maybe try it again but perhaps you can handle it I mean definitely is what I'm saying you can handle it but perhaps you can trust yourself to have to handle the situation you know um, and you will find for certain no matter what your disability may be no matter what your weaknesses or faults 
that if you sincerely go into a situation with an open mind and um, with a desire to trust your instincts that you will survive it. You may not look pretty in doing so, but you'll come out of it on the other side perhaps with a little more confidence in yourself to handle life as life hits in the immediacy of the moment. It'll help you live in the presence of the moment too. That's all I have for today. Everybody have a great, wonderful, brilliant, exotic, exciting day. And I will too. Thanks.